Uh, Chief Chapman, thank you so much for being on with me this morning. When numbers like these make headlines, nearly 100 officers shot, 10 fatally, and it is only April, how deeply is that felt by law enforcement, both past and present? Morning, Marky. Uh, not only is it disturbing for those of us in policing, it should be disturbing for the general public. Normally, the months of January, February, and March are those of the least incidents of crime. If you have these large numbers of police officers being assaulted, and we're only talking about those who were shot at, not those who were shot, not those who might have been stabbed or in other means, in other ways, assaulted. You're looking at a trend that could be to lead to a very dangerous summer because as the weather gets warmer, crime has a tendency to go up. Yeah. In addition to that, we don't have we don't have these in incidents in specific areas. 32 of the 50 states have had officers shot so far this year. And if you add in Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico, now you have two other jurisdictions where police officers have been shot, been shot, and 26 of these officers were shot in ambush situations in which three of them were killed. And so it begs the question, why? <laughs> what do you think is escalating the violence, sir? Well, I think there's, there is a, uh, a continuing uh, disintegration in the respect for institutions of government. Uh, police are the visible signs of government, and they're they're available and working in communities where other services that should be uh, present aren't, and fulfilling a lot of roles that are tr untraditional for police. So as a result, uh, when people lash out, they have a tendency to lash out police. In addition to which, there's a complete uh, group of elected officials who talk about defunding the police that only make it easier for those who will avail themselves of uh, illegal conduct to think it's okay to go ahead and attack the police. Mm -hmm. And to target our men and women in blue. You were the chief of patrol for the New York Police Department. I mean, if you were still there, what rules or policies would you be putting into place to help keep officers safe while on patrol now in 2024? Well, the NYPD is, is probably one of the finest police departments in the world. Uh, their men and women are dedicated to keeping New Yorkers safe, and they have a, a challenging task. When I was the chief, we had over 21,000 people assigned to the Patrol Services Bureau alone, the 76 precincts throughout the city. Now that number is down to somewhere about 13,000. So it's a much more difficult task. You have... Uh, at one time, we used to joke about the fact that the, the toughest thing officers had to do in Midtown was to give tourists the right directions. So far that's this year, changed. we've had a number. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's changed radically. And we've had police officers, as you just showed in your clip, uh, attacked on the street, which should, which should not happen at all. Uh, policing has now become the target for anyone who is angry in society, and that has to stop. If we don't have respect for law enforcement and our police officers aren't safe, none of us in society are safe. So we really have to look at getting our elected officials to get behind the police, pass laws that will help police do their jobs better, and instead of defunding the police, looking at ways that police can do, be more effective and keep society safe. Yeah, absolutely. It just makes you sick to watch these videos on loop, doesn't it? And despite all these headlines and the surveillance video, I, our officers continue to show up each and every day. It is a calling. Uh, Chief Chapman, thank you so much for joining me, sir. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.